Alex, there was a lot of talk this week about uh, the inability to score touchdowns in the red zone. What's what's your take on what's going on there with you guys? Uh, we just got to limit it to little things like I know I had an offsides. Uh, you know, just when you get down there, you got to focus. You got to be making noise, uh, be moving, and everything. So you just got to get down there and focus. And it's little things we got to clean up. So once we get those cleaned up, we'll be really efficient. Is that the most constant stress you guys you felt like you guys have been under as an offensive line in a game this year? The red zone? Yeah, or just in general with the pressure and penetration they were getting in the backfield. No, not really. I mean, we're just just got to focus on the little things and you know get those done. That'll take care of the big things. Coach Luke talks about the importance of winning one-on-one -on -one battles down there. Is it more difficult to win those battles down there when the uh, field shrinks? Um, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think you just got to lock in and do your job. Uh, I mean, one-on-one -on -one battles the same every position or every position in the field to me. Uh, so I mean, it's just locking in and staying focused. Alex, with four games left, I mean, what is the feeling, mood, vibe inside the locker room with what you guys want to do the rest of the way? I mean, we're it's a really good mood. We're five and three right now, going to a bye week. I mean, we would like to get that win last week, but uh, you know, we're not down at all. We're just coming back out to work and get better, working on little things this week, focusing on red zone stuff, is like like y'all were talking about. So. Uh, you know, the vibe's good. Everyone's excited to get back out to work. What are some of those little things? Staying focused, not making little penalties, uh, you know, just one of your one on one battles, all those types of stuff. How are you feel, feeling physically? I feel pretty good. Uh, I mean, towards the end of the year, you get little, little dings, fingers, and everything, but overall, I feel good. The whole offensive line has stayed pretty, pretty healthy. Is that kind of unusual for? Much trench work have y'all done? Yeah, we, uh, you know, the past years we've had some injuries and stuff, but this year it's been pretty good so far. Uh, hopefully it stays that way and uh, hopefully you keep getting better. That has to bode well with the stretch run coming up. Definitely. I mean, SEC games the last four games, so it's big time. How much easier is it for you guys to work as a unit when, you know, they're playing primarily five guys and same five guys right there. Is there a cohesiveness that develops with you guys? Definitely. I mean, we're, we've all been together for a while now. Uh, I mean, been together for three years now, going three years. And, you know, we're all really good friends. Uh, we can know how to talk to each other. You know, we know how to push each other's buttons and stuff. So uh, I think we're, this is a really close offensive line, probably the closest one I've ever been around. Does that make it easier to, to come back from, say, a, a substandard performance against Auburn? It does. I mean, you uh, kind of talk to your guys and everything. And, uh, get everyone back on their feet, and everyone knows what they got to do. I mean, you just kind of, I just kind of look at them, and we're like, all right, just go back to work. They know. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Perfect. Thank you.